Good morning, YouTube. Shidomaru here, and welcome to another video. By the name of the title of the video, this is going to be a no bullshit, straight to the point, for short video. I will try to keep it less than five minutes. Um, I just want to give you my honest opinion about 1.1, 1 .1, uh, the new patch that hit live servers yesterday. My opinion in this video about Jinshi, about the patch, about the story, about everything. Um, I'll keep the negative part. For the end of the video and i'll share my positive thoughts about the game right now about the patch in general um so let's just straight jump to my thoughts so 1.1 in general as a patch i i think is um a good patch it's interesting story amazing i'm in love with the story i'm super happy about the story i'm in fact i would actually go and go through the story a second time on my free to play account i would go there i would do it I find it interesting um, and I wish there was a little bit more. I wish there was a little bit longer, uh, more quests, more story behind that. But nonetheless, I think the story is 11 out of 10. It's amazing. Um, the second thing I want to touch on is Jinshi. I played her yesterday because the first thing yesterday I did once the servers went live, I had to pull her. And the video, by the way, of me pulling is over there. If you want to watch it, short video of me doing uh, my pulls. I've got her yesterday, I've got the weapon, I was super lucky. By the way, I actually even got her to C1, because in the end of the day, after I did, I did all the content that was available on this patch, um, I actually had around 3000 asteroids and I decided to do another um, 20 pulls. I did another 20 pulls and I got her to um, yeah, C1. I'm happy about that. She's um, now... My opinion, short opinion about um, Jinshi. She is an amazing resonator. Super fun, nice kit, a lot of damage. Um, she symbiotes well with, <laughs> with other resonators. Um, today I'm going to play her with uh, Mortefi. Tomorrow I'm going to try her out a little bit with Ian Lin. So I will try to switch it up every day with her. She has great potential where you can mix up um, different combos. Verena is going to be a no-brainer. She's always going to be in the, on the team. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean the sub-DPS, you can switch out and you can play around with that. In general, I think she's an amazing resonator. Uh, they created her pretty good as a kit. She's interesting. She's my new favorite resonator. I was super hyped about her. I got her. I will be playing her on a daily basis. She's just amazing. Uh, if you don't have her, I wish for all the luck on the planet so that you can summon her and you can get her so you can experience how cool she is. Uh, the other resonator that is a little bit teased as you can trial her, you, you can play her a little bit um, in one of the quests um, from the 1.1 is um, Changli. She's also pretty cool. I like her kit, animations, she looks amazing. Uh, aesthetically and in and, and the skills and everything i'm uh, excited for banner once they once they release the banner so we can pull her she looks amazing as well um, so resonator wise they made an amazing job right they have two new resonators coming in one was already released jenshi um and the, the changli one we're waiting for uh, but both resonators seem to be super cool super interesting now let's get to the bad part. The bad part is I think it is bad that it took me less than one day to go through the entire content. Um, there is, I have no side quests to do anymore. I do have a little bit of exploration to do in terms of maxing out 100% of the exploration over here to get all the achievements and stuff like that. But I'm not like a 100% completionist um, you know, person in general. I went through most of the places, I gathered most of the bells, I even got the bells, uh, these over here, um, to the max level almost already. So I would, I would consider that I went through the patch, through the content, 90% already. And it, it's day two. It's day two for me for this patch. And the, the, my opinion about it is that I think it's not enough content. And with the fact that Zoneless Zero is coming out next week, um, and with the fact that, you know, the late game of the game is pretty repetitive in terms of, you know, the union level grind, in terms of, you know, the echo grind and everything, I'm a little bit worried that a lot of people will burn out from the game pretty quickly. 
Uh, that's my opinion on the situation. I do love the patch. I do love the resonators, the content, the story. I will be playing it on a daily basis. Uh, but that's my two cents. I think it's not enough content. And I think that a lot of people will drop the game. And the trend is going to continue going down. Because there is not much content in the game. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about 1.1 and Woodering Ways. I would love to have a discussion in the comments. If not, yeah. Cheers out. I wish you a nice weekend and good luck with your pulls. Good luck with your echoes and stuff like that. Ushida Mara here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.